one. So hello, you're very welcome. This is Ashling Mooney and I'm here today with the beautiful, the amazing, the gorgeous Sarah Ashurst. And uh, this is part of the group, um, the free training, seven days to get your spiritual business online. And we've been walking through the seven steps. So we've gone through about five steps from today. And then we have two more to go. So we're nearly there. But I just thought it would be a great idea to get Sarah in here because Sarah has gone through um, the seven steps and has actually launched her first online course from brand new, never been online before, and just followed these steps with me. Now, Sarah is in my Master at Metatron group, so she has signed up for the long haul for 12 months of me. <laughs> nudging, prodding, pushing, pulling to get her out there um, as, as the, the most, I mean, I just love you, Sarah, you know what I mean? I think you have such a beautiful message and uh, it's a privilege to work with you and help you just to, to really get out there internationally, you know. Um, start crying now, go from laughing to crying. So hang on. <laughs> so, um, let me see, I'm after losing my train. So Sarah has followed the seven steps when she had 11 places and on her first ever launch, filled nine places flat out with no uh, Facebook ads, no email. We didn't even get to set up that class. It was literally with a Facebook platform, a group, and she sold nine places on an 11, week, 11 place program. So almost sold out. Next time she's gonna completely sell out and even if it's double the figure of places, She's going to completely sell out. So I just thought it would be useful to hear from a real person how this process works and how it works even if you've never used it before. So it's completely brand new to you. And just before we get into that, Sarah, do you want to just take two minutes just to tell us a little bit about what you, what you do at the moment and uh, whatever. Let's just wing it. On the course now or what I did previously? Just tell us a little bit about you. Like you, you, you do readings. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm, I, I do a lot of Reiki. I teach a lot of Reiki, Yusui Reiki. Um, I also do a lot of readings, Angel Tarot readings. Um, and I've been plugging away at this for the last ten years. <laughs> Literally plugging away. <laughs> I've been on Psychic TV. Um, I've done all, all sorts in, in in my time, but mainly one to one readings that's what I previously did before joining my master room Metron and did some teaching of um, um courses you know Reiki courses etc and this angel tarot workshop I used to run an angel tarot workshop as well um which is the basis that was this course online course was taken to so yeah yeah um I love spreading light I'm, I'm a fairyologist as well I'm getting into fairies so I'm still learning all all the time but I think there's you know, to give me a synopsis, I've been plugging away for ten years, not getting very, not getting very far until this last six months. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what else to say, else to say about me. I'm a mum. Yeah. I've got three kids. Mm. Um, you know, a very, very busy life. I look sometimes. I think, how did I fit all this in? How do I fit it all in? But I fit mm. it in because I really want to be successful um, mm. in my business, in my spiritual business. It's my passion. Um, and so why I've, I've, I've done all this and I, I, and I still pinch myself really about how well it's gone you know this last six months so yeah yeah that's a bit about me yeah brilliant oh thanks Sarah that's brilliant and that's what most of us watching this are we're light workers we have very busy lives we have our children our houses <laughs> and uh, we're struggling we're still giving away our services for free um, not making much headway for me it was you know probably eight years in business before anything started to move and and then suddenly the last three years has just soared with this material mm -hmm. so you joined the mastery at metatron and this program is part of that um so that's why why you were using these steps um but this is the first time that i'm so probably sharing it separately from the mastery at metatron group so um let me see so what was what was the best thing about the process 
Do you know, I think it was the confidence mm. with me. Believing, even though I am outwardly confident, I was already holding courses, etc. I just think it really tapped into some really deep inner confidence that I could actually do this and I could actually live mm. from a spiritual income. That, mm. I think that's the biggest thing that it's mm. given. I really believe now I can be even more successful and, and carry this on. Yeah. And you put me, you know, six, eight months ago, I, I didn't believe that. So I, I think it's that because you, you follow the steps and get into the detail, which obviously with you, you do really get into the detail of it. It really, yeah, it, it turns your belief, belief mm. around. So I think that's the biggest thing it's given, it's given me, you know, because we can all be doing all these things, but you know, you all have that little ego voice in your head going, oh no. What are you to share this? Or what's it? That's not worth that. Or you know, we all we all have it, don't we? And mm. and we see other people and compare ourselves against other people, and we think, oh well, they're doing they're doing great, and it's not about anybody else. It's about mm. you and what you tap into. Mm. You know? And then that's what it's yeah. Confidence, I think, is the biggest thing, and the belief that mm. um, I can really do I can really do this, and the belief that the knowledge that I have is of value yeah if you if you understand what i mean because mm. i think if, if i look i could probably open a library me with all books i've read yeah <laughs> and the, the knowledge that you use, you you think that's not worth the value but things that you've you know the, the courses and everything you've done is worth value so it, it gives you that confidence to take it take it mm. forward mm. i now believe what i know and what i've learned over the years is mm. worth something yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And um, what about the whole the process? Because it does turn things on its head. Most people start with, oh, I want to do a Reiki course. And they put out their Reiki course and expect people to arrive at the door and they push and shove and put up posters and text people and ring people and nobody turns up or very few people turn up. Where this is, it's completely turning things on its head. It's thinking about, okay, what's your favorite? client that you absolutely bring to the most joy and designing a program around the, the transformation that you had with that client and then packaging it all together to create something that's absolutely irresistible so there's people banging down your door mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> and, actually, it's, yeah. Not about, it's not about the sales you know it's about you're actually serving you're finally shining and and the people that are your ideal clients are waiting for you. You're sacredly contracted to meet them. They can finally see you. You're, you're, you're speaking their language because you've got into their skin. You've completely understood. But it's not just any client. It's the client that gives you the most joy. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer when you think about it that you're, just, you're, you're setting yourself up to work with the people that bring you the most joy. Yeah. And it's not always, as light workers, we work in the dark. You know, we bring, we go into the pain places and into people's problems and issues and challenges, and we, we do our best to be a mirror and bring people through that. Um. So yeah, so just talk a little bit about your understanding of that process, or how, or anything you want to say about that at all. I think before I, I, life was just happening, you know. So you'd get your clients, and you might get clients who I tend to get a lot of clients who've been through a domestic abuse situation, or you know, because um, I have previously, or you know, like like a mirror, you attract clients like you. But that just seems to happen. You don't understand why that why that happens, or you don't tap into that. So for me, I mean, my avatar was me, actually, exactly. you know, and it was, it was me and my, and my journey and how cards changed my life. Mm. And I think whether it's yourself or whether it's at your own client, you just end up getting, I don't know, I ended up getting really, really clear about mm. who I wanted to help because mm. previously I'd just gone scatterguns and just put myself out there and I wasn't really focusing or believing mm. that I could help the right people you sort of knew you could help the right people but you didn't know how to attract them where mm. using your own story people tap into those words and that's that's how I felt when I wrote my own on, on story and my own avatar it was one it was amazing because I just thought wow you've gone through so much and even though you know <laughs> you know you've, you've you know but I also mm. thought you know 
the people there's loads of people out there who must be like me must be like my avatar mm. you know who've been bumbling around with cards and for me it's a tarot card for example they've been bumbling around trying to learn tarot on their own and you know not really feeling they've got any guidance or any trust or, or anything like that and, and I just couldn't after all these years of bumbling around it just got me so clear you know um and it was like a, I did it over a weekend and after that weekend I was like wow that, you know that why wouldn't somebody sign up that's how mm. I felt I know that sounds mad, but that, that, that is literally how I felt. Why wouldn't somebody sign up for this? Because this is exactly what I, I've been wanting, exactly why I'd written the course, you know. And it, and it was ta and it tapping, I think, because you write it emotionally and because you write it from the heart of, you know, how they were when they came. So for me, I was wanting, um, you know, life was happening to me. I didn't really trust anybody. I didn't trust anything. I didn't, didn't trust anything. Um, I'd had a lot of people hurt me, etc. Um, so I, I was just, yeah, not feeling like I had any guidance, and the cards helped me tap into that guidance. And then along the journey, I learned how to read the cards and really get a structure and everything else. And so I don't know if I'm making myself clear, really, but That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it just. I don't know, it, it got me to realise how, how I'd changed along the journey. So for me, it was very cathartic. It was a very big healing thing using me as an avatar. Mm. You know, but if you just use a client yourself, I've got some clients I've used as well, I've written some others. And, you know, when you do it and you just do a healing session or a, a reading, you don't really look at how they, how they do transform. You just take it for granted, take the money off the go. And here you're actually tapping into you know, how did you help them transform? And you're helping them, you're helping yourself build the confidence. Do you know what I mean? To yeah. believe, mm -hmm. to, to, to believe that. So for me, the process of writing the avatar was an amazing um, thing because it, it just made me realise how much you can transform with, with cards and what you what you can do. Um, and it, then it just, it just made me, I don't know, like I say at the end of it, I just believed that somebody would sign up because I just thought, oh, wouldn't you sign up? This is me, eight, eight, you know, not even eight years ago, like 11 years ago, to be honest, 12 years ago, before the 10 years, this is me. And and mm. then I, this is my journey and, and how I've changed along with this journey. And in that now, I've written it in a course of 12 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> If you if you see if you see what I mean, am I making myself clear? I'm not sure yeah. I feel like I'm bumbling. Ah, yeah, but. and it, it's 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 magnetic then. Yeah, it's irresistible then. And it's I that when I first did the avatar, and then when I did it with the group, I just I think I cried for three days after. Yeah, the I cried. Yeah, you just, I definitely. We yeah. had that call, and everybody was crying on that call mm -hmm. because it mm -hmm. was so strongly. Mm -hmm beautiful and open-hearted it was like mm -hmm. oh my god the avatar is me i'm here to help mm -hmm. me that's why i have lived yeah. this journey mm -hmm. everything who can make sense now yeah all of it all the parts mm -hmm. of it, i'm here to help people like me mm -hmm. and it's like you know being like i often think god if i could go back 10 years or 15 years and just grab that girl's hand and say ashley it's gonna be fine love yeah just keep going you know, and it, that, that's what it's like for me when I see, and exactly the same as what you were saying, before I knew anything about this, I, people were coming to me that had, were exactly my avatar, but I didn't know that at the time. Mm -hmm. I was just helping and healing. A lot of my mm -hmm. stuff was confidence issues and helping people have courage and speak out and personal development. So a lot of, that was what I got a lot of. I've no confidence, you know, that was mm -hmm. constantly, I've no courage and and anxiety and panic attacks and stuff like that and that's so it's it, it's that mirror but it's only with the understanding of the transformation that occurs for people that you're like it just blows you away and changes everything literally changes everything and you become a client magnet but not as the sales you know traditional sales say become a client magnet you become a magnet for your client not for oh, the client you know yeah. it's much more beautiful than that you know the group that, that i'm in now the people that have signed up ah I, I do all see them as mirrors of me and i can see where they all are with the cards mm. and that's just that's exactly what you're saying it, it is magic you know 
it's like what you write then attracts the right people who you can help because you've helped yourself along the way yeah in a nutshell yeah. that's what it is isn't it yeah mm. yeah so how would you talk about the, like the the process i know you're in metatron so that's an extra three months and then this three months but you talked about it being cathartic would you say it was easy or challenging or difficult or helpful or it, it was challenging because we did it very quickly <laughs> But then in some ways, I think that's a really good thing. And I would actually push some of you, you know, if you, you, you go on this Abundant Heart Program with Ashton and, you know, to, to, to set yourself a target and, and do it. Because I think, you know, it's easy to, you know, I've often put things off or procrastinated or whatever. So I had a target. I had to do it. And in a weekend, I had to write my avatar. And I, had, I did it in chunks because for me, it was quite a deep emotional pro process because I was writing about things a long time ago that had happened to me that I thought I'd healed which I'd, I had been working on healing from like I say for the last decade but this was almost like a closure process for me yeah. in a way as well oh, God. you know writing about it mm. um, and the biggest thing for me as well was sharing that story mm. with others so I was I had a big fear about well people know that you know um this was me 10 years ago that I had this, you know, yeah. you know, there's a lot, I won't go into the detail of the avatar people can read it if they, if they want to and, and, and check out my stuff. But, you know, there was, there's, a, there's all sorts of things about my personal journey in there, which I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be sharing this with the world. Yeah. And that was a massive thing for me because mm. I'm, I'm so used to just, you know, a light work I'd worked on my own for the last decade, like I say, just mm. bumbling along, reaching <laughs> reaching out and and I, suddenly I was going whoa everyone this is me this is this avatar is me and, and this is my story so I did it in bits um I actually had my sisters away with me at a weekend and I'd gone to see my sister for a surprise birthday and and, and I, I I wrote it and I got them to read it each each chunk that I did and mm -hmm. and they were a great great support to me and then um, I sent it to you, but it was very, yeah, um, very healing, very cathartic, and I cried quite a bit writing mm. it. But when I read it afterwards, I thought, wow, you know, how much have I changed? How much have I developed? Mm. And this is this course is going to help somebody in a similar way, you know. And mm. mm. um, what about the coaching? Because that that's I, honestly that's it's massive. One the biggest support that I have had and that has mm -hmm. brought me forward is just having somebody there that you can F and blind with. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I do a lot and of kick that. me up the bum in a, in a very, very nice way, but that's exactly what you do. And get my ego out of the way because my ego kept saying, this won't good enough. Um, you can't possibly charge that. <laughs> you know, whatever, um, you know, oh, all sorts of things that I had, my ego was in the way a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and you realize that when you're doing it and that's why i think a lot of us in the past have just stopped doing stuff we think oh i'll do that and then you don't push yourself to do it so that coaching is i mean ashley you were brilliant you've been brilliant and honestly I can't, I can't describe i could cry sometimes i think like i couldn't have done it without you no i'm not i'm not joking i'm being deadly serious because you just nudged me you encouraged me um, you helped me believe. I mean, you know, you write it yourself and you look back and you think, wow, but then it's, well, what, what, what do I do with this? How do I get it out there? And that's mm. what that coaching does. And it, you, you, you know, you hone into the detail where you need the extra detail. And, uh, you know, I think the, the tips you've done this week are they're just amazing. The information you've given for free is amazing. But yeah. without that coaching, um, I wouldn't have had that success. That success. Do, do, do you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm absolutely positive about that. You know, so um, you just need somebody who's done it to, to you know, and, and well, you've got the courses, haven't you? You've done it. So you were there nudging me every step of the way, making me laugh and saying, not be, just stop being serious, Sarah, because I can be too serious. <laughs> Even though I sit here laughing now, I can be really serious and get quite stressed when I'm, you know, in the detail of things and you help lighten that load and um, just got me really clear and encouraged me. Um, and help me with that self-belief you know because that's what you need to you know that's what you need to go forward and I think that's what a lot of us lack 
you know, that confidence and that self-belief. You know, yeah. So it is giving me that. Yeah. We're going to start crying now. Pull <laughs> um, yourself together, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to re-coach you now. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. She's not like that, really, guys. She's lovely. <laughs> No, you, you have this way of coaching and nudging in the most supportive way, but you know, saying, "Look, you, you know, you, you made me realise I really want to do this," and I think that's it. You commit to it and you do it, you know, and it, and it, 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 it's, it's just worth it every step of the way. So yeah, yeah, being serious. So what about for anybody listening that's been following the steps and they're on the edge, they're thinking, "I might, I think I have enough here. I'm going to go with this." And I'm going to run with it and, 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 and just see. And, and as you said, the material is fantastic. I've really like pulled out the stops this week, mm -hmm. like really given so much from my heart to help as many people as possible. But I know there are people that I can't take further. Mm -hmm. There's about 22 that I want to take further. So what would you say to anyone? And I'm not talking in sales pitch or anything like that. I only want to work with the people that want to work with me and that are happy and that feel it in their own hearts. Okay, I know that Ashlyn can take me the next step. What, what would you say to those um, people that are thinking about it? That you'll lead them to that success. I think the information you've given is great. And you, like you say, you could go off and you could go off and, you, and use it. But if you really want success at this and you really want to, do it well and I did I didn't want to go half cocked and you know do everything on, on, on my own um because I've done that for, you know I've done that for years and it's not let's face it it's not worked <laughs> it's not worked for me you know so having you as that coach and that guidance every step of the way and the biggest thing as well is you know I mean we've had it in metrics like I say but with the abundant art pro program you'll have that group where you've got other people encouraging you and giving you that feedback because we think you know um I don't know it's it, it's something's only worth something and then you find it actually it's worth more you know and it's only getting that coaching feedback from you and the and the and the grouping sportive environment that you, you you know you're holding it in that you'll you'll get it so I, I would say you know if you really want that success and you're really serious about doing this and if you look at all the investment you've put in previously well you know this investment is well worth it to get you that you know on that main road to success because I feel I'm on that now oh I know I am yeah you know um and it's been worth every penny that I've put in it put into it you know and after going on so many courses and so many different things nothing has given me these steps and this detail in the last 10 years like this has so I think that's that sums it up and I'm not and I'm not saying that from a sales pitch you know um, I'm not I'm just my car says it all <laughs> I wouldn't have had the sign up, would I? I wouldn't have had nine people sign up out of eleven. And you know, it, it's it's amazing that, that that's what that's what I got. You know, it it's it won't be easy sometimes. It will be a challenge, but we have to challenge. That that's what we're here to do. We challenge ourselves. And if you're serious about wanting to do it, why why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? To me, it. It's almost been the like the last investment in myself. Don't get me wrong. I know I always carry on investing in myself and my own, um, you know, uh, you know, knowledge and, and learning other things. But I mean, to, for, to take my spiritual business for, further, it has been worth every penny. That, that's what I want to say. Well, that's what I want to say because because I, I, I've invested in lots of other things about knowledge, but I've never really invested in how I can take myself forward seriously in business do you see what i mean yeah so yeah you got your investment back in in more oh, and more yeah massively Once. massively yeah <laughs> like yeah how much only five you know. <laughs> a lot a lot more yeah yeah so and i think that's the difference for me i'd invest in lots of courses you know and, and i've spent thousands likely most of you have on your own knowledge and what you've learned but have, have you really invested in taking your spiritual business further? You know, and there's, I, I've not come across anything like this before. Yeah. You know, not that I know of. Yeah. There isn't, I don't know of anything. So I think, you know, if you're thinking about it, just, just, just do it, you know, because mm. I've done it and I've got, I've got the course success and I'm, I'm re-enrolling for my next one. 
Yeah, yeah. why wouldn't you? Yeah. No. Okay, come here. We have a few questions, I think. So I'm just going to read the chat for a minute okay. and uh, just see if there's anything. So Magella is getting clear on her avatar, which is brilliant. That's fantastic, Magella, because this is the clearest that you've been. So if you can post that in the Facebook group, that'd be great. And I'll tweak that for you. Uh, Myra says, great to hear Sarah speak. Mm -hmm. such oh, thank success, you. And you're brilliant. Siobhan says, I have to say, I have no idea how to get a package together to offer online. I want to do classes, but just having a notion as to how they work or what to put in them in terms of psychic development mediumship. And this is exactly what happens over and over again. People start with the course first, and it's about going back to your favorite client, and that avatar piece, and that first step on the journey. And people resist it. I resisted this step for years. You know, my own co coach was pushing me, keep go back here. And I was like, no, 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 I don't need that. I'm just going to run this thing. And then I, I ended up giving people back their money because the course did, that I put together didn't resonate. There was something off. So it's about going back to this step all the time, Siobhan. And if you go back and um, we're going to tweak that, Siobhan, you're in the 90-day program already. So we will uh, we'll spend a whole week around the avatar. So don't, don't worry about that. We will go deeper. And Siobhan also says, I agree with everything Sarah is saying. You are too giddy when you get together. <laughs> Ashling. <laughs> we had a little chat beforehand, didn't we? And you, were, you were saying to me, you know, just try and calm down and stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ashling, but this is just it. This is what you have. You have fun. You know, doing it, it's, it's not like working. And... I would have resisted that avatar if, if I hadn't been pushed and had to do it. Yeah. I, I'd have probably written it and not done anything with it. And I think that's what you'll give with the co with the coaching. You know, yeah. you commit to doing it and off you go. But yeah, it's fun. It's not just all, you know, serious work. <laughs> um, Siobhan says, Ashley, you have a way of making us see more inside ourselves in a beautiful, supportive way. Thanks. Thank you. And Sarah, just love you and can't wait to meet you in June. Whoop. So Siobhan is on the Mastery Metatron. So we're having a retreat in June. Jenny says, hi, everyone. Love to Sarah and Ashlyn. Great things happening. Have to go. Okay, that's great. You can watch the replay. And Myra asks, what's your business name and site, Sarah? So do you want to give us that? Okay, so my um, Facebook page is Sarah Joanne 07 and my business site is um, www.powerangelstarot.com. So somebody would be really good and write that into the chat box, it would be great. So yeah. Again for Sarah, one more time. www. I can write it in if you want. Well, I'm here. Yeah, I, I, brilliant. I'll yeah, write just it say in. it one more time. And I, I have a great, so Sarah Joanne 07 for my Facebook page and then the link the course details that I run is www.powerangelstarot.com and then brilliant. I also have a Facebook group as well so I'll post that on if people want to join that if they're interested about it. Yeah, so. brilliant. Post the free Facebook yeah. group in there and yeah. I'll stick it under the replay as well. Yeah. And your course is relaunching very soon. It is, yeah. In another month in, or so, is it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's actually going to be in early, early May. It's launching um, and I'm starting enrolment for that now. Yeah, so I'm starting to take enrolment for that now. And following this model of enrolling, there's going to be loads of free stuff. Yes. <laughs> and you're going to give your heart to people for a week or two and just give them, you have seven tips, reading angel cards, angel, angel cards. So for anyone that goes into your Facebook group, they'll get all of that. And even if they decide to go forward with the course or not, they'll get all of these tips. Um, yeah. The group. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. So, Magella, having a coach is so important, but so is support from the nearest and dearest. Absolutely. That support is not there. It makes the whole thing so much harder. That's it. No, and especially, you know, I found when I was in business for years with nothing happening. It was very hard for my loved ones, for my family, for my husband to believe in me. Mm. Because they were like, what are you doing? Like, you, you keep going on courses, like hundreds, thousands. And you keep saying you have a business, but there's no money coming in. 
So for me, it was when I started to, you know, some people are really lucky and they have partners that are like, yeah, go for it. You know, but for, for, for me, you know, my husband is fantastic, but he's also a really practical man. And he was like, what the heck are you doing? You're spending all this time, all this money, and there's nothing coming in. Go and get a job, like. <laughs> and, and I did get some part-time work for a while just to, to actually bring some some extra income in while I was building this business, while I was going through my coaching mm -hmm. and while I was just trying to figure out all the parts and put them all together. But it's very hard to get that support from your loved ones on, until they see results because people are mm -hmm. practical, you know, um, my relationship with my husband really deepened and just has gone onto a whole new level because like, as you've said, Sarah, I've grown in confidence because I've started mm -hmm. to use these skills. I know I can, get clients on demand. I literally know my last launch was 10,000 euro, my last launch over one month. Now, three years ago, if I go back to the woman three years ago, there was zero in my bank account. I was out there throwing up the posters, ringing people, inviting people in, and it just wasn't happening. But until I could show my husband and say, look, it's working, it's finally working, I've cracked it, I've done it. And, and then it was okay because it, it, it was easier for him to support me, whether that's right or wrong. It was easier for him to support me when he could see results, when he could see that I wasn't wasting my time or my gifts or, you know, and, and that it was all, it was worth it, you know, that there was money there, that I was actually finally able to make money from my spiritual gifts in a way that was joyful. You know, my life has become more joyful. I work less. I only work yeah. uh, two days a week on this. You know, it's not um, it's not a full time job. I'm a full time mother, like like you are as well, Sarah, with three mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. I do. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's it's being really clear on this. There's so many gifts in it that you get that support from your family and friends, and they start to believe in you at a deeper level. Your relationships deepen. You become more confident, and you get to spend more time with your family. Now I'm full on this week in this launch but next week i'm back with my kids again i'm off for two weeks at easter i'm off for two months in the summer i'm off for a month around christmas mm -hmm. you get to this create this business and you can say right i'm i'm i want some clients this month and you just put your head down and off you go by the end of the month six weeks there's clients there that is how it works it's magic when you get that key if i you know what it's done for me is made me think totally differently so I am not, you know, don't get me wrong. I still do one-to-one -one readings and I love one-to-one -one readings, mm. but that I'm, you know, I'm thinking, how can I create more courses? How can, I'm thinking bigger. How can I reach yeah. more people? You know, and it's not about the money. It's about how I can share my gifts in a bigger, bigger way. And you know, I'm actually turning down, you know, like I used to do like one card tarot readings and things like that. I'm not doing that anymore yeah. because it, it's not... It, it's changed my it's changed my whole thinking you know i can work smarter for more you know so so why wouldn't you and i can work less and be happier in my life to give myself the creative space to create other things that i want to do yeah. you know um by and, and and not be you know day in day out i've got five, five clients i've got six clients etc i'm not just not doing i'm just not doing that i'm just managing the co managing the course yeah. you know yeah um so it, it, yeah and i've had the same thing with my husband exactly the same with you is i actually believing now that i can do something seriously with this yeah. i'm i'm believing it i know well i'm not just believing it i know it now you know yeah. but um yeah people around me are actually seeing that i'm having and even people just in my community going oh wow sarah you know you're doing really well now and i keep seeing your light feeds keep seeing this keep doing that you know and and it just changes your whole your whole life in a way, you know. Yeah. Because you're serious about it, mm. you know. And what? Just going to touch on something there, Sarah. What has that done to the fear of visibility that you had in the beginning? Remember, you were saying, you know, "I was going to put my avatar out there and I brought up all this stuff." And you know, there is a vulnerability. I've done that when I put out my first sales page. It was like, "Oh my god, yeah. this is too raw," but it was. For me, it was the best thing I ever did. Yeah. It was healing. It was, but just, just talk about your fears now. When you look at the fears of the visibility then. I don't have the same fear 
now at all about being visible. And I actually think it, the, and the amount of comments, Ashling, I got from people who read it, who read the link, so the powerangeltarot.com, and they read it and they messaged me. Now, some signed up on the course, obviously, some didn't. And, you know, some just took the free tips that I did. But the amount of people that commented and said, oh, wow, what an amazing story. I had a premature child. I had a, a relationship like this. Yeah. You know, I felt, I felt like that for years, yeah. you know, and, and, and I, I'm into my cards now and, and, it, and it's given me this. Yeah. So just for me, you know, forget the money and the income and, and everything else. That, you know, that's the big bonus with it. But it was, it was that... Um, fact that you write something and people really get get it and, and you're helping people just by writing it that's what really struck struck me you know and then invisible so then I thought you know what I'm really proud of who I am because I'd written it and I was like oh are people are going to know all this stuff about me <laughs> you know, the whole world you think it's online and then that that, that means the whole world's going to see it which obviously it doesn't it's just the people that click on the link but to me you know the whole world are going to see it but now I think that's that's made me who I am and without yeah. that journey I couldn't have written this course I just yeah. couldn't mm -hmm. So now I don't feel as scared visibility wise, you know, and yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm enjoying this life today and, and you know, I, I'm still a little bit nervous before I come on, but I'm not worried about talking about if you, when you talk about something that you love and your passion's there for it and you've done it yourself, mm -hmm. it just flows. Yeah. It just, it just flows. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And tell us a little bit about working with your clients now at the moment. I know we're going on very long. I, t I told you 20 minutes and I'm holding you up. But it's tell us a, a little bit about um, your clients, your experience with your clients now that, that you're on working the, with. On the car, you mean? The course, how are you enjoying working with clients that you absolutely love what you do? And... Oh, I, do you know, I, I just love seeing the growth seeing the growth within the course we're tapping to our own intuition and you know people are posting in the group and, and saying that or they're saying oh I get this and then you're in you know you're I'm encouraging them to to see that and say yeah that's right that's right what you're seeing and people just blossoming in front of your eyes and you know somebody said to me um the other day that she'd she'd learn um the meaning of all the cards so previous to this course she'd been learning all the meaning of them and now she just looks at them and she can tap into the intuition and, and just see what she sees in the card and that was just like a golden moment for me because I thought that is exactly why I've, I've written this course this is what I wanted to always achieve myself which I did mm. and now I'm able to share that with with others and I, and I can't you know I think what this, the whole thing it's given me overall is I go back saying, you know, I've read a library of books and you think you have all this knowledge, but you don't know how to share it and believe in sharing it. And when you write something like this and you do a course from a place of your heart and from where you love, you just realise yourself um, that you, you do have a lot of knowledge and you do have a lot of things that you can share that are value to people. That, that's why I mean how it builds your confidence. Um, and then not only that, every time I've done this every week that we've gone in, I'm learning something, you know, people see stuff that I'm not seeing as well. So you grow as well. As well. I mean, you can never, I think you can never be um, an expert in cards yeah. to me. It's a continuous journey. Mm. So people are highlighting things to me um, in the cards. I think, oh, I've not seen that before. Yeah, I've been reading them eight years or whatever. You know what I mean? Because mm. uh, uh, 10 years my journey started and I probably really got into my car journey about eight years ago. So I, I think, wow, you know, I, I'm seeing that now. So it, it's just been in a lovely space, you know. Yeah. To, mm. I can't, I can't descri dis describe it. And then the, mess the messages I've had from people about how, how, how they're enjoying it and mm. um how they're enjoying the space and, and, and it's building their confidence, mm. you know, and that, that, that's the biggest thing for me to see people's confidence growing, doing it because mm. my confidence has grown over my yeah. journey. Yeah. So yeah. it's almost like it's a minute, it's mirroring you and what you were like, you know, yeah. it, it's wonderful. Mm. Yeah. But it's easy as well. It, it's not, don't get me wrong. It, it's not easy, easy, really easy, but it's easier, you know, because it's something you've done yourself, you, you know, and, and you've written your advertising, you're clear. 
So it, because you've just got all that clarity, it just makes it easier along the way. You know, yeah. you're not bumbling along. Yeah. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? What yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. We're going to wind up in about two minutes, Sarah. I'm just going to read the okay. Point. So Myra says, how did you decide on 11 places for your course? Or indeed, Ashling, the 22 places on the Abundant Heart course. So if you want to answer that, Sarah, or will I answer? It's a magic number. It's an angel yeah. number, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed just quickly I had 11 and I got 9 and you know what I was so meant to get 9 because 9 is my house number and 9 is such a special number to me yeah. so I, I laugh now and think yeah you know I was always meant to get 9 because 9 means so much more to me than 11 even though 11 is a lovely spiritual number <laughs> But it, nothing's set in stone, is it? But, you know, just have fun and that's that. that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. just a number, isn't it? A spiritual angel number. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I, I just pick 11, 22, 33, 44, and that's what I aim for. And I will always aim. If you aim for five, you might get three. If you aim for 11, you might get nine. If you aim for 44, you might get 40. One of my teachers, I hated maths, but one of the things she did say to me was, aim if you aim this high you'll only get there but if you aim that high you might get there so it's just always aim as high like at 22 but but really there's going to be much more in that group i can sense that actually but um but they're magical numbers and they have power when i first started mastery at metatron it was only open to seven the vibration of the program was seven and i think i signed up five so very similar Mm -hmm. very similar and then it just grew from there but um so hope that answers that marion says thank you both so much and congratulations sarah on your success and your courage oh thank you and kathy says hi sarah and ashling loving the call like siobhan i've no idea where to start with package listening to you both has made up my mind to join the abundant hearts course where I'll have more time to work on each aspect decision made. I'm absolutely yeah. over the moon, Cathy, that you'll be joining us. And I absolutely know that in three months' time, you're going to look back and go, wow, can't believe yeah. it. And Marion Farrell is jumping in as well. Me too, I'm joining. That's brilliant. I'm you will love it. Over the moon. Mm -hmm. I have, I'm going to show you this real quick before I jump off. I have a this. Can you see this? <laughs> All of the names in that group, there's 135 people, I think, in that group. And all the, the love hearts are the people that have already jumped on that will be in that group. There's probably actually more. There's 20, probably nearly 22 now, so there, won't, there will be much more. But just, I'm going to stick your names on that, girls. And listen, Sarah, we'll round it off there. You've been so, so good. I said 20 minutes, but I think that was just, uh, just to get you on. <laughs> This is what a coach does, you see. <laughs> Pushes you that bit more. That's what you need, girls and men. You need what you need. <laughs> Sarah, thanks so much for the bottom of heart. I absolutely just, just love you so much. You know. Thank you, and you. I consider you a friend now. And uh, I'm so happy to see you just continue on your journey. I know it's going to go from success to success. So thanks so, so much. Okay. No, thank you. And thanks for listening to me, everyone. You know, and just, just do it. You won't regret it. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>